Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Factorio Space Age. And I have not actually been doing that much today because I went back to work. So no more three hour long videos per day. I have to work it, so I can only play a limited amount. Having said that, we have still done a bunch today after work. And we've got, as you can see, uh, well, I'm on now Vs. I'm on the good old um, refined concrete. And we have set up two new train stations. One for hot fluoro ketone and one for fusion power cells. That is right. We have both of those on now Vs. And yeah, they we have a bunch of well we have a bunch of new ships that we've set up and are working, and it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Um, actually, we should probably we should probably rank this up a little bit. I've got this guy, fusion fuel. Let's let's put it at four so we get more at a time. I don't think it's really going to be that big a deal, but yeah. Oh, I think we're, we're maybe out. Uh, let's have a look at our ship. I've renamed all these to be a lot nicer. Um, a lot easier. So, in, you've got NV Fusion Fuel. Okay. So, he goes back and forth and he gets a thousand fusion power cells and a thousand barrels of fluoroketone. These will back up after a while and these ones will just keep going. Um, the actual thing is 50 by 50 and 50, but I put it at times 20. Um just so I could reuse this for other things as well. So this is my fusion fuel. It just goes back and forward. And yeah, what, what else are my other new ships? My new other new ship is my fusion builder. So this gets five reactors and 10 generators from Aquilo. And then it just goes to Nalvis and unloads them all. And Nalvis is constantly requesting, well, it's, it's requesting a hundred and once I actually have that amount, um, I will scale them back to like 10 and 20 or something like that. And then I'll build up as I need to. Having said that, I do need 200 and 400, don't I? Technically, I do need 200 and 400. Uh, I'm not sure if I can fit that many in this building though. That's, that's a lot. I'm not sure if I can fit it in. Maybe I will put it down to... I'll put it down to 100 and 400 and then what I'll go and do is I'll actually build up using a hundred and two hundred I'm not sure if I can automate the building of those but yeah there will be a section maybe down here somewhere this looks like a pretty good area where I'll set up a huge um, fusion power area and I'll just slowly go down and fill it out and have all these little fluoroketone cooling setups and so on I will just slowly build the power up to uh, 200, uh, 20 gigawatts is what we're aiming for. So, um, I've, oh, I finished the angel ships as well. So these are both sitting on top of Aquilo at the moment. So let's have a look at the angel ships. So I've got a whole bunch of prod modules and speed modules all over the place. Everything that uses the carbon um, is prod moduled. I didn't really prod module these because these are derived from the uh, metal ores and we always get a buttload of metal ores so these guys don't really run out but yeah the carbon does tend to run out a little bit it runs out way more on low density structures because it uses much more plastic um, but because these have prod modules for the things that use the plastic it tends to go quite a bit longer what is going on here oh it's backed up on red so yeah we got prod modules for the blue and yeah, because we got 100% plus 50 plus the, it's 200% productivity with everything together, which is an insane amount of blue circuits. And right now, how many blue circuits does it have? It's got a decent amount. Um, it's, okay, it's backed up. It's backed up to 10K. Um, and I've updated the AQ supply. I've basically had a custom, instead of planted planet supply raw it's planet supply raw aq i removed the blue circuits and the low density structures so that this ship isn't supplying that stuff um i should probably do i could do some other stuff as well actually uh now that i think about it i should probably get rid of this and this 
and then from Volcanus I'll get rid of this and this and from Gleba I'll get rid of this and the reason I get rid of those is because I've got other ships specifically doing those resources so this is my generic supply ship however I do have what I call fusion items so for um well they've got the same thing for each of them so it's basically got tungsten carbide, tungsten plate, superconductors, and carbon fiber. So, why am I actually getting 5k? I gotta relook at my uh, thing. But basically, these two are required for the fusion reactor and the fusion generator, and they take a ton of it. And then this one, that one only requires one tungsten carbide. And I've got so I've got 2.5 for each of the things that are used for the quantum processor which is that 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 and lithium we get on planet and the processing unit we've already got the angel for that so yeah we don't actually need uh i should probably adjust this is this only needs to be two and a half thousand now this ship only goes to fulgora so it'll only be picking up the superconductors nothing else this one will be just picking up these two and yeah, it's using up way more than it's using that. Okay, so that that should definitely not be 5k. It should just be 2.5k. And then I got one for Gleba as well, which just picks up the carbon fiber and nothing else. So yeah, so those are the three ships I've set up. They're, I've set them up for two reasons. First of all, because um, on Aquilo, I want to be producing the fusion power at a very decent rate. I want to be producing these reactors at a very decent rate. Having said that, I do need, I probably need to expand this. This is my little quantum processor setup. It's going pretty good, fully prod moduled. Um, I could expand it a bit, but currently it's dying on lithium plates. And the science is also dying on lithium plates. Having said that, I have 100% got it up to 120. Um, like all this period, I think it was, no, that was 59.2, 33 per minute. Okay, that's where it was, I think, okay, here we go. So this is the period where it was at 120. You can see there's a very long period where we're sitting at 120, and then I think lithium started dying. Um, probably when I started turning on all the fusion and all of the um, quantum processes and all that sort of stuff, and especially, because this requires lithium, and I think the lithium requires... No, it doesn't. It doesn't actually require... Oh, well, it it does, actually. It requires the lithium. It does require the lithium, and the lithium is always used to make... Yeah, so everything, and this one uses... So lithium is used in pretty much everything important that I want to do. And, of course, we started using a ton of this because I started pumping it down here to shove into a rocket. Let me just show you everything bit by bit. So we're pumping um, fluoroketone hot down here, and then we just barrel it and send it up in a rocket. And we also send our fusion power cells in here and send them up on two different rockets. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. They, we've got an individual rocket per resource we don't have any robots we don't have any robot um, rockets accepting logistics resources they're all manual insertion no robots on Aquila whatsoever and over here <clears throat> um, we did a bit of a nice setup here for science so basically the science goes around comes up here gets split evenly between these two and they each have a massive chest and then, yeah. So the reason I did this is we got two rockets. Each one has two chambers in the rocket. So when our science comes through, our AQ science, uh, it wants 4,000 science and there's 1,000 per rocket. Basically, we don't have to wait for the rocket to rebuild. It's just boom, 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 boom. And then the science ship is filled up. Assuming I've got enough science, which it is processing a bit slow because of the lithium. But I just, I still haven't gone over and tapped this uh this lithium brine set up over there or this one over there i still haven't tapped either of them but i will probably do that at some point because yeah it's slowing down 
Well, it's slowing down a lot of stuff. Like this, this is slowing down because of lithium plate. This will probably be slowing down. Well, this is slowing down because of lithium plate. And yeah, I got a few rockets over here as well. So we got the fusion reactors. We got the uh, fusion generators and we got uh, the cryogenic plants and all of them have their own rocket. And this one's backed up pretty nicely, which is great. And yeah, everything is beautiful. Everything, this, this, in, this base is pretty much done. I mean, okay, so we need some lithium brine. We need to go over and tap some of that on another island. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much it. All we need is that lithium brine and we're pretty much done. Um, I did tap these extra things over here, uh, extra pump jacks because I was running a little bit low on this uh, fluorine. Once I started putting the fluoroketone on the rocket, it started to be like, hey, what's the deal? Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Um, I need to add something. Oh, and actually, here's what I was going to do. I forgot to do it before, but here's what I was going to do. Um, uh, yes. My, my bad. Okay. We need to... Actually, how do, how do we convert barrels back to steel? There's usually a recipe for it. Um, there's not a recipe for it. Huh. I mean, we could recycle them, but then I would need a recycler, which I don't have. Uh, okay, all right, here's, because this has probably got a bunch of barrels just sitting there, and I didn't even realize it. Um, okay, so, Aquilo, uh, here's what, we need to do something funky here. Um, I should probably do it from a different inserter. I'm running out of inserters quite a lot. Well, I'm running out of places to put inserters, I guess you could say. We can fit one here. Don't need you anymore. I'm not even on that planet, and there's no robots on that planet. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I've got to go over there and start fixing stuff up. But anyway, that's... Uh, yeah, there's really not much to talk about in this video, to be honest. Um, just showing off the good stuff I've been doing with the fusion. Renaming all these, uh, no other new ships other than that sort of stuff. Oh, I forgot, I'll show you the uh, low density angel as I'm flying over to Aquilo. Uh, yeah, have I got anything in my inventory? I do. I need to set up another rocket on the other side of the base so I can, uh, so I can, because this is where I land all the time, so I need another rocket over here. Should be able to produce that automatically. Uh, okay. Let's travel to my personal ship. Uh, come on, buddy. There we go. And yeah. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking very good in this space. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, just got to land in the ship and then we can start traveling over. And then, I kind of already showed you, but basically the, uh, the whatchamacallit setup on the Angels, the fusion setup, is pretty standard. I mean, well, it's exactly the same as the one I had downstairs. Um, the only difference is I'm saying only, I only want 1k in this tank. So then I can automate sending barrels up, but we don't fill it up too much. And I took away the um, the storage tank for the cool fluoroketone, because then that would just fill up and I just have way too much crap in this system that I don't want. So yeah, uh, technically I could turn off the barrels right now and it would be fine, but I'm, I'm a little bit paranoid, like, what if something for some reason gets destroyed? Not that it ever would, but what if something gets destroyed and I have to repair it and I have to replace it? I mean, it's a little bit too paranoid, but whatever. So anyway, this, this ship, this is the Blue Angel. It is currently using about, it jumps up a bit between about 30 and 50, sometimes a bit more, depending on what's currently running. Um, but this guy is using 
about 15 megawatts, this one uses about 15 megawatts, this one uses 3, this one uses 15. So yeah, it's enough power to manage all of these guys uh, quite comfortably. I thought I might have to go for two of these, but it turns out I only need one, and we are producing um, about one blue circuit per second. Cool, what did I just do? I'm pressing buttons, and I don't know what they're doing. These are the buttons on the side of my ship. Oh, I think those are the map views. Okay. Why, why is that the map view? Oh, I'm cycling. There's a button on the side of my mouse and it's cycling through different things. But in a very weird way. I do not understand what's going on. I'm going to stop pressing that button. My thumb's right on that button, which is kind of annoying because I accidentally pressed it. But I'll just try not to press it. Oh, I just did it again. Okay. Um, there's probably a key on the keyboard that does the same thing. So, yeah, basically we just send the cells up here, dump them in. Uh, send the barrels over here, dump them out. And then the Angel of Density does the same thing. Um, yeah. And I've just prod moduled pretty much everything from the carbon stage up to the low density stage. Because this guy is uh, it's so slow on the carbon. It uses so much carbon for this process. It's not even funny. So yeah, low density structures. Uh, I am not making them very fast. I really not. It's like 15 per minute. Which, I mean, considering I'm making it out of nothing, it's still decent. I mean, it's still like... I did... This base was actually broken for a long time. Um, I was putting some prod modules up here. Actually, it definitely replaced the advanced recipe with the normal recipe. So I was no longer making sulfur. And I almost ran out of rockets. The rockets got... This belt was empty, but these ones are full. So after that, the rockets would have started running out and... There are really big asteroids just floating around, so another couple of hours and my ship may have started to take some major damage, which would not have been good, but I managed to fix it in time and built up the rockets again and started building up the low density structures. But yeah, it really does use a lot more plastic for the low density structures. Um, yeah, the low density structures. Uh, and before you ask, I thought about doing, um, I thought about doing the low density structures using the forge recipe. I'm gonna be honest, I just couldn't be bothered, really. Um, I had this belt already, I mean, I already had copper and steel in the hub, in the main hub, and it was so easy to just belt them out. I was just like, yeah, let's just do it. Because otherwise, I would have either had to um, pipe this metal down, this, or I would have to um, belt the iron down. I did think about belting the iron and the copper ore down here, and then doing the forges, but I was like, nah. They're already in the main hub. Those two resources that I need, two of the three resources I need, are already in the hub. i got an unlimited version of them. Let's just crate yeah so i missed out on an extra 50 percent productivity from not using the forges the foundries but then again i mean these are low density structures they've got 140 percent productivity with those prod modules so they're still doing pretty decent when they get the plastic which is i admit not very often but when they do go i think they just produced three low density structures which was not too bad three for the price of one okay where am i uh i'm over aquilo let's go down to aquilo yeah i haven't switched any other ships over to um to fusion yet haven't really had a need for it to be honest um also i'm not sure if i mentioned it but the sign ships got merged over to the um assault cruisers there are no longer any of the old space trucks. All the space trucks have been destroyed. Uh, yeah, they're all gone. So, oh, I forgot to mention. These guys, I did make all three of them, mainly to produce the, uh, 
the fusion reactors at a nice speed, but the other reason I did it The other reason I did it, uh, do I have one of those? Yes. Uh, oh, crap. All right, you need to be barrels. You need to be barrels. That's not going to work. Um, that's really not going to work. Okay. Okay, that's a bit better. You got barrels. Okay, I'm not actually requesting barrels yet, so it's probably not going to get anything. But yeah. I know this belt looks hideous the way it's winding around, but it's good for the heat pipes. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a section to request barrels. Uh, let's get a hundred of them, just so we can get rid of the barrels that are being shoved down here. And then... Uh, 200. So let's say if this is barrels, the amount of barrels in this system is less than 200. Okay, good. We are recycling all the barrels from our angels now, which is awesome. So if we go to Mr. Angel Blue, uh, should have no barrels on it, and Angel of Density should have no empty barrels anyway. Oh, and if I had these guys over here for like an hour before I realized that I didn't actually have the unload thing ticked. So that was slightly embarrassing, but yeah. And that was after I turned off the blue circuits and the low density structures on the supply thing. So I came back and I was like, why aren't there any rockets launching on Aquilo? Oh, I forgot to check the magical checkbox. Uh, are we out of rocket fuel? We're out of rocket fuel. That's not good. Uh, that's very not good. Alright, why are you guys out of rocket fuel? Getting low on crude. I mean, we're still building rocket fuel. So a little bit out of crude, but not enough to stop these guys from building... They're just slow. I guess we're using... ...fuel. I mean, the rockets are still being launched, so... When we get to the point where we're not really launching rockets anymore, when all of these are empty, then I'm going to start worrying. We must have the uh, NV, yeah, the NV fusion fuel is over here. It's getting a thousand barrels, um, which are stacks of a hundred, so that's not too bad. It's also getting a thousand of these, which is stacks of fifty, so it needs twenty rockets uh, to get that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much launching rockets non-stop. Okay, that's stuck at 4%. That's not good. And that one's completely stuck. Okay, so rocket fuel is... has become a more serious problem. We can get rid of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're done with that. Oh, okay. Pretty sure we're done with that. Um... You know what? I can just copy it like this. Copy it like this. I don't need extra water producers, but I do want to extend that pipe up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, I might as well do this on camera. I didn't pick up any bots. There are bots lying around here somewhere. But i got to search through all the chests to find them. I should probably clear out these chests a bit more thoroughly. Because, yeah. Oh, give me some of these, give me some of these, give me some of these. 
yeah, ever since I got the uh, fusion reactors, my bots have been a little bit more not... Uh, the, my memory hasn't drained... My battery hasn't drained quite as fast, so I've got my portable fusion reactors. 2.5 megawatts each instead of 625 um, kilowatts. My batteries still drain quite a bit, but I think they get up a lot faster. They recharge a lot faster, which is nice. Uh, oh, and uh, in case I didn't mention it, I pushed out to four fusion reactors on this planet. So yeah, I'm using 120 at the moment, but 40 of that, well, actually only 11 because it only uses 10% of the total. So 10% of whatever your current usage is will be the fusion reactors just running up. All right, what am I missing? A uh, bunch of, oh, that was a whole bunch of stuff that came down. Bunch of red inserters. Uh, I need a bunch more red. Where do I get red inserters? Uh, all right, let's just go bunch of that, bunch of that. Uh, don't need steel. Okay. And we need 12 of these guys. I'm still putting um, the thingamabob modules on them, just for the sake of it. I probably don't need to, but then again, it's not a bad habit to get into, um, to just do that. And the thing is, I might actually start doing that on, um, well, a little bit on now these. Maybe. Because here's the thing, um, if I can cut down my power usage, like, let's have a look at the mega base builds. Uh, there's not really any way we can do it because we've got prod modules on absolutely everything. 99% um, of things, like this one, we've put efficiency, but everything else is like prod moduled. Uh, we could put efficiency on these, but we actually needed the speed modules to get it up to that level, so whatever. Uh, yeah, and now I'm guessing on the blue prod modules everywhere. Because I was thinking it would be nice to not need 20 gigawatts, to only need 10. But then again, I mean, as we said, like, uh, this guy right here is producing one per second, which, pro which, and if you produce one fusion power cell per second, you can support 40 gigawatts of power across the entire system. So the only pain of fusion power is the initial setup of getting all the fusion reactors built of actually moving them over to now base. and once you do all that the actual fusion power cells are reasonably cheap and reasonably easy to make to support that amount of power it's pretty insane how good that is okay so let's have a look okay so our crude oil is really taking its toll having said that um, we are not even close to tapping all of these, so let's just go ahead and start tapping. I'm not sure if I'll tap all of them, but we'll tap a few. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And we see a power pole there. Okay, your okay. So this was one thirty per second, really. And this one sixteen. Okay. Oh, that's why they're so backed up. One twenty nine, one forty six, one six. Hang on, that's that seems like uh, one thirty a second. That seems like a huge amount. You're using. Okay, you're using 40 per second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 400 a second that I need. Okay, now I can see why it was in so many, so much problems. So, 116, 129, 146. So that's not quite going to do it. We need one more. One more guy. Okay, that's 81. I remember having a drill over here that was doing like a stupendously small amount, but then again, I mean, 
81, 116. So that's, that'll top up, uh, that'll do our 400 per second. Uh, okay, we're slowly going up, so all 10 of these should be going great. Now we're, now we're back, now ammonia is a problem. We were actually having tons of ammonia, but now we're dropped out again. That's all right. We should still have a bunch of rocket fuel being produced. Um, okay, no, this is good. This is great. Rocket fuel is now backed up. Um, that is awesome. Oh, this is so awesome having rocket fuel backed up, especially in this setup where we're sending so many rockets out just all over the place. Um, we actually ran out of fusion power cells. We should be pr producing enough. Having said that, we are in the phase where we are caching just a buttload of crap that we really do not need to be caching. So this train station is full. Um, this one is like this, this one chest has like 20 gigawatts for, um, I don't know. This, this one chest can produce 20 gigawatts for, let me see, 160, 20 gigawatts for 160 seconds. Almost three minutes. So this chest will be out of power our entire base for almost three minutes. I think. Yeah, yeah. Because one, one cell. No, what, what am I talking about? 20 gigawatts. One of these lasts for two seconds. So it's actually double. It's 600. So this is like 660. So this one chest will power our entire 21 giga, 20 gigawatt base for 11 minutes. Yeah, this one chest. And if we look at this entire thing, this is like over an hour. This, this is right here over an hour, which is 20 gigawatts for over an hour just in here. That's pretty awesome. So our fusion builder um, going over to fetch some more. Uh, NV fusion fuel. Is just waiting for a few more. We're not actually producing enough. Because of the lithium plate, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of expected. I haven't got any priority splitters on here, so we're not going to be draining any power away from these guys. This base will be running 100% good. Uh, I'm going to be honest, we only need one. We only need one there. We do not need to store 250 for each of these. We only need to store 50. Uh, so I can actually take some of these out and start dumping some of them in here and start dumping some of them in there. Yeah. Because we just got way too much in those other, those other locations. I wonder if I should actually, I could open this up quite a bit. Let's open this one up to two, two levels. Let's just do that. Um, that should be pretty sweet. And dump it in there and dump it in there. What I should probably do is I should probably, uh, what do you got? You got pipes. Okay. There we go. That gives me a bit more space. Take all of this, dump 50 back in. Okay. Okay. That's a bit more <coughs> reasonable. Because, yeah, those chests were not going to get emptied for the next million years. They were just going to sit there forever. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's get rid of some miscellaneous stuff that I don't really need in my inventory anymore. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, I was going to say this is a quick episode, but we are... That's been half an hour. I just... Yeah, somebody gave me a comment that said I talk too much. And I was just like... You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. But the way I look at it is, um, I try and show off the important stuff early on, 
as much as I can remember, and then I do most of my rambling later on in the video and most of the miscellaneous stuff. So if you want to stop watching after like 10, 15 minutes, yeah, it's fine. It's completely fine. As far as this base is concerned, we are pretty solid. Um, I mean, we fixed up the rocket fuel. That's all I really wanted to do. The ammonia is very low. That's not great because that'll affect some other stuff as well, like this. But then again, this is lithium brine is really a pain in the ass. And this will back up. Like this guy is probably close to backing up already. So when this backs up, hopefully some ammonia will be freed up and the rest can sort of go back to how it was before. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about plans from here on out. Uh, let's actually go up to uh, my transport and we can go back home travel to personal how are, how are we doing with these guys okay we just launched the rocket that's great is the pr is it's all the lithium it's just lithium is a constant problem so okay so i think my plan is going to be this first of all we're going to train out to this guy 5.8 million we're going to tap that, we're going to send that one back, and that will finish off Aquilo for the moment, for the, the near term. Um, we won't have to look at it again for hopefully a long time unless other resources start going down the toilet. The next other... So other than that, we're going to go to Nauvis, we're going to send up, set up the actual power plant the actual fusion power plant and we're going straight for 20 gigawatts now we are going to lose two gigawatts of that from the fusion reactors running so we'll have 18 gigawatts net now we know that if the entire base turns on um it currently uses about 7.5 gigawatts that means we've got 10 gigawatts free for purple science which I believe is enough. I believe the actual figure according to Factorio Labs was something like, uh, I don't actually have it anymore. Uh, oh, here it is. Um, yeah, the actual figure according to Factorio Labs is about seven gigawatts. So we got 10 free, we need seven gigawatts. That should be fine. Um, and then be, we'll have 20 gigawatts capability and we'll be fine. So then, once we've got that power thing set up, then we do purple science and we do 5k SPM and our rocket uh, productivity, uh, mining productivity goes through the roof. Speaking of research, um, I've been hitting rocket part productivity a lot since, uh, since I got uh, Aquilo science ship shape up to 120 SPM. So this, yeah, it's, I'm actually researching part eight, level eight now. Which means that, have I got a rocket here? I've got to do have a rocket here. It's now up to 120%, including the, uh, including the prod modules. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna, when I'm going to stop doing it, but the way I see it is, um, with the exception of yellow signs, rockets are the only thing we really use these three for. So, by doing rocket part productivity research, I'm essentially doing all three of these at the same time and it's like the third the cost so theoretically all right this next one is eighty six thousand. so that means that i it's more efficient to do this one even when it costs two hundred and forty thousand, than it is to do any three of these at eighty thousand. now there is some multiplicative thing because this is ten percent on top of a hundred Whereas this would be 10% uh, on top of uh, 150 or something like that. So a slightly poorer ratio, but still, this one is worth it, definitely. Having said that, other than the top level, the, the fancy science pack, this, 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 and this, all use red, green, blue, and purple. So what I, what I will end up doing is rotating them. So I'll do productivity research, uh, rocket productivity and then I'll do rocket fuel and then I'll do low density and I'll do blue and I'll be able to do all of them basically at uh, about 500 SPM 
because each of them is currently producing 120, so I'll thread them all together, do them at 500 SPM, and of course the first four science packs will be at 5K SPM, so it'll, they'll easily be able to handle that pace. And yeah, I'll just cycle them and I can send them up through the freaking stratosphere. Plastic and steel, I could do them. I'm not really worried about them because I've already got my science set up for the first um, few. Having said that, um, like if there's any later science packs, um, yeah, like production science pack, it uses a bit, a little bit of steel, but I don't think, I think 100% is still going to be fine for this one. Low density structures, I don't think we need to research steel. The productivity on the blue and the, and the thing will be helpful. I mean, look, here's the thing, we could go for steel right now, and we don't change our setup here at all. Like we change this to be exactly the same as it is. Now what all that, that'll mean is that we're overproducing on these belts. But this is tuned for 45, so we will still just produce 45 and some of these machines will go a little bit slower. Maybe in like 10 research levels we can remove a speed module or something and it'll still be fine. But it'll still be beneficial because it means that we'll be using less iron. So the iron requirement for blue science will go down from 55 to 54, go down to 53, goes down to 52. And that's good because we're on now Vs and we're still using resource deposits. So it's, it's basically like a version of mining productivity, getting the steel research. So at some point, that'll be worth it. Having said that, 86K for 10% here, whereas our mining productivity if I can find it, is currently at 23K. Uh, so it's still definitely better to get that. But at some point, we might start bumping up the steel again. Um, yeah. But other than that, I'll probably just keep these guys moving up. Um, keep, obviously, the rocket part productivity moving up. Asteroid productivity, I think, is going to be very awesome. Um, it's going to help us in the future when we go out to the shattered planet. Um, it's helping our angel platforms right now because, uh, as we saw, the angel of density is very, very low on the carbon. Carbon is a constant issue. That's why I had to put the prod modules in these guys. It slows them down a ton, but I got six of these guys and I got so little asteroids coming through that it doesn't matter how slow they are because it's never going to back up. This this lane is never going to back up. Yeah, I mean, if we look up here, uh, actually, the metal one is not backed up. I thought the metal one might be backed up, but apparently it's not. It's it's a bit more backed up than a carbon. But anyway, these guys, um, I got 20% productivity from the modules and 100% from research. So, yeah, it is... This is good, this research getting up to this high level because it's basically doubling my productivity. And with these platforms, these angel platforms being very good, I can see me, I can see myself taking this resource very, very far. Uh, well, to a decent level, at least. Um, maybe when, I mean, as this guy isn't really backed up on low density at the moment. It's getting a decent amount. Uh, it's got 7.1k. I'm not sure if that's increasing or not. If it's increasing, great, but I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, but that's that's pretty much uh, as far as infinite research. That's all we got left, actually, infinite research. There's no actual research left. Um, I also did scrap recycling a little bit. I'll probably get it up to level 10 and leave it there. And then once I get to Fulgora, I'll be like, okay, I've got 100% productivity, sweet as. Um, and it'll be nice for not tapping out the locations. I mean, I'm not sure if we are actually tapping them out. Like, if we look at Fulgora. Okay, this was about, when we started, how much was this? I can't remember. I think it was like, 21 million at the start. So we have used up a few million. This guy started at 55 and it's now down to 54, but this has been backed up for a long time because we built a ton of these and we haven't really used a ton of them. 
Uh, this science has been backed up quite a bit. Once we start doing 5K SPM, we will probably start, because if you look at this, uh, if we look at over 10 minutes um, on this planet, we're not producing a lot of science over, so here's the thing, over 50 hours, we've used an average of, we've produced an average of 36 signs per minute, and we've used an average of two and a half thousand scrap per minute. So, and a lot of that is being recycled though, which is not great, but then again, remember the, the bottleneck is all holmium ore, so we have to recycle stuff. There's no way we can get around recycling stuff. So we have to recycle it. So this ratio is going to be pretty much the same going forward. So that means 36 up to 2.5K. Now, if we do the calculation there, uh, 2,500 divided by 36, uh, 69 times. Uh, let me just do that again. Divided by times two. Okay, so we got the same answer doing it different ways. We are going to need 347,000 scrap per minute. 347,000. And if we divide that by 60, it's almost 6,000 scrap per second. I mean, the 2,500 we've got at the moment, divided by 60, is 45. So we've basically been using up an average of a full belt. But we're going to be using an average of 100, almost 100 full belts for 5K SPM. If we decide to go for 5K SPM, even if we go for 1K SPM, that's still 20 full belts. Okay? Now, 20 full belts of scrap. We pump this up to level 10, suddenly we're doing 10 b full belts. Or maybe, maybe we, because I only got this fairly recently. So if we have a look at the graph uh, of the scrap, it has gone about the same. It hasn't really gone down that much. Who knows? It's a, it's a bit hard to tell with all the spikiness. Um, but maybe it's gotten better. I'm not sure. I don't think... It also depends a lot on how often we've used the, um, the tech science, which, honestly, we don't use it that often. I think mostly what this base is doing is producing a bunch of um, holmium and a bunch of these superconductors, which we send over to Aquilo. Uh, it is producing a little bit of science. But, yeah, we're really not using it. Uh, the main thing we're using it for is the scrap recycling productivity. But, yeah, this, this one is, uh, is actually half the cost of this, but it still goes up by 1.5K every time, so it's still pretty expensive. But, yeah, I'll push that a little bit. But the fact that it's a level 10 is a good place to be for the tech base, the tech science. So, yeah, in terms of other research, uh, I should probably hit that up a bit more. Um, yeah let's 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 let that be uh the thing i do for now i could probably i could probably start hitting up railgun damage as well i really don't need that though yet i'm i don't know when i'm gonna go for the final science i'm gonna be honest i have all the tech i need to go for the sci final science certainly we're not going to go for it before we finish 5k spm purple science um that's going to be number one priority and get the mining productivity up and running. Our, our, our aim is for science. That's our high, pie in the sky sort of aim. If I need to go down to 1K SPM for like the end game sciences, I will. Because, yeah, this, this is going to be incredibly hard to get 5K SPM for Aquilo. We're going to need to destroy oceans of lithium and i mean if you look at how spread out this lithium brine is i mean it does the mining productivity does make a difference so mining productivity is going to help us out for 5k spm on pretty much every planet like fulgora if we go over to this 
This is using mining productivity as well. Gleb Gleba? Gleba, it won't actually help us. Gleba, um, mining productivity won't do anything. Gleba, I think Gleba, we will do 5k SPM and Volcanus, we will do 5k SPM. Gleba and Volcanus, I feel good about those. Volcanus, the science is relatively straightforward. And Gleba, we can do farming, we can put down some... Cr we, Gleba is actually going to be fun. I mean, because we just build these massive farms everywhere where we can train around the little pods and stuff like that. That one is, I'm actually looking forward to Gleba. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm looking forward to it. So Gleba and Volcanus, yes. Fulgora, I'm a little bit worried about. Um, the main reason I'm worried about is just physical space. How do we space it out? We're going to have to be very particular about how we build this base uh, and how we do power. I think I've said this already, but I think we're just going to use fusion on this planet. We're just going to build a big old fusion power. We're not going to rely on the lightning storms for power generation because screw that. I mean, we'll build a bunch of these every now and then. And during night, we'll get so many lightning strikes that our fusion power plants will probably shut down and be like, okay, I don't need to do anything. But during the day, the fusion will pick, kick back on because we need an incredible amount of accumulators to actually deal with fusion power. And we just don't have the space. Having said that, we are at the point where we can probably produce foundation without too much pain. This was a very painful recipe before. Now it's reasonably okay. We got carbon fiber, we got tungsten plate, in very decent qualities, fluoroketone, stone. Uh, we don't actually have stone on Aquilo. We really don't have stone on Aquilo, do we? We got everything else. I don't want to ship lithium plate and fluoroketone off, off Aquila. Oh, technically I'm already shipping fluoroketone hot, but I don't want to have to ship that much because we're going to need thousands of this stuff. Thousands and thousands and thousands of this stuff. That's so annoying. Okay, let's, let's, all right, we got to do a deep dive here. Um, Cause yeah, the, I might, I might just have to bite the bullet and get really creative on Fulgora and just do a mega base without using any foundation. I think I can do it on Volcanus. I think so, because there are these big islands everywhere, and we could between them and have like this module doing this bit and this module doing this bit and stuff. Um, but having said that, it is a relatively simple science. I just don't know the scale that I'm going to need all these. I mean, this look, this is for 120 SPM, right? But then again, this is without prod modules. This so once we start putting prod modules and speed beacons. We could maybe even do 5k on this entire island and then we get trains out to grab resources from other places and stuff. Potentially, we'll have to build it, but we'll see how we go. Um, Fulgora with, yeah, we, I don't know if we're going to be using foundation all that much. It's just, it's just so painful. So anyway, okay, where are we? We stopped in now, so let's just drop down to the planet. Actually, no, I might want to go over to Aquilo. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at stone. Okay, we mine it on now recent Gleba. That's not great. That's not great. Molten iron from lava, molten copper from lava, scrap recycling. Okay, so there is no natural way to get stone on Aquila. Son of a bee. That's, that's not what I want to hear because you need buttloads of stone to make this foundation. I mean, I could ship it over there, but how much stone? 500. So that means 25 foundation per rocket. So we send up 500 stone in a rocket. Okay, all right. Can we make a stone angel? <laughs> Okay, that's that's a very interesting question. I don't think we can make a stone angel. I really don't. Um, I would. I, no. So we can only make stone as a byproduct from lava. 
so we could make we could actually make infinite stone on volcanus using a little bit of calcite because we use a little bit of calcite infinite lava we make some stone we make some molten nine we turn the iron into iron plates and then we recycle it infinite stone but then we still have to rocket it we still have to rocket it over to aquila which is painful um so let's let's look at the other direction let's look at the other way of doing it let's look at moving this stuff over lithium plate 500 and then fluoroketine i should know it actually because i've been doing this for so long uh for a while but these barrels so you get a hundred and each of these barrels has 50. so 100 barrels 50 that's 5000 5000 of that fluoroketine 5000 divided by 20 is 200 and uh 250 250 landfill foundation per rocket that's not too bad but the carbon fiber 500 Five, it's 125. This foundation is going to be a very high cost. It's going to be extremely high cost. So the idea of just foundationing a huge area is pretty much out of the question. We're going to, we're going to have to send a million rockets. If I just want to do it like a section like this, just like foundation the whole lot, boom. That's like a million rockets that we need to send over to build the foundation. So we're not going to do that. We're going to have to. We're going to have to work around the island to do that. And remember, just just remember, this entire base produces 120 SPM. When we put prod modules and speed modules, we could probably get this up to like I don't know, five, six hundred, or something like that. Maybe a thousand, depending on how lucky we get. Um. But then again, just like, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. I don't know, Fulgora is going to be like incredibly hard to do 5k SPM. So let's, let's sort of, let's sort of carry it on. Um, let's sort of do an overview. Let's go out of this map. Let's drop down to now V's and let's do a checklist through all our signs. And we'll sort of tick off what we think we can do early on what we think is going to be easy what we think is going to be good and what we think is going to be inc so incredibly painful it's not even funny so first things first when it comes to the science um let's give me give me some stuff please i want some stuff so we have a look at these so these these four we already know we're going to be easy production science pack they might use a bunch of resources. I'm still thinking about setting up over here a transfer station. I'm going to take in some 416 trains from all the way over here, some big mining things. I'm going to send them back there and they're just going to transfer off and then we're going to have another little station for a whole bunch of, like probably another one of these just over and they'll just be providing buttloads of ore to all the little 1-4 um, trains that go zipping around. So a big old transfer station, I think will be awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's one thing I'm thinking of, but yeah, that'll be, that'll be purple science um, done. The only other one on this planet is yellow, which I'm gonna be honest, is probably gonna be a bit painful, but it's not gonna be super painful. There's nothing special in here that we don't know how to deal with. It's just gonna be big. It's going to be probably about four times bigger than this, five times bigger than this, something like that. It's going to be huge. It's going to be painful. It's going to bankrupt our resource economy on now Vs in all likelihood to do 5K of it. But we can do it. There's no question that we can do it. It's, it's definitely doable. Space science? Uh, I really don't know. On one platform, I'm guessing probably not. I had, a, I had a dream of doing 1K space science on one platform. And I think that's probably still possible. 5K though, not likely. Um, 
Having said that, these guys are at productivity 100%. If I get productivity up to 200%, 300%, then potentially we are in business. I mean, I could probably extend this out to be able to produce 1K SPM, um, just the buildings, and then we see how the asteroids do. And then we could just pump up the productivity, put some prod modules everywhere, blah, blah, blah. See how we go. This, this base right here might get up to like, uh, I don't know, five, 600, depending on how many asteroids it gets. But we can't really increase the amount of asteroids we get. Um, having said that, if we go to a blue angel, it does have big chunks lying around. I don't know if that actually means this base collects more asteroids than other ones. I actually don't. I think it probably does, but it's a bit hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. The other option is we have a non-stationary ship. We have a ship that actually flies around and does science for us. That is an interesting idea. That's a very interesting idea. And then we have like five big ships, um, probably bigger than this ship. Um, having said that, we might be able to do it just as big as this ship though. Or we just have a little section down here that does a whole bunch of science. So we just pass down the, uh, pass down the iron, what is it? What does that science actually require? Ice, iron plates and carbon. So we just pass all that stuff down into the corner and we just do it. We just have, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just create one of these ships and I'll just create a bunch of science and I'll put a fusion reactor on it. Um, but then again, we'd have to fit the fusion reactor somewhere, um, which is fine because we still want it to fly around. So we still need all this malarkey, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah. Okay, so space science is going to be interesting. It's doable to do 5K because you could just make more ships. It's just like not an issue. So you just do more, more ships. Um, and then we got vol volcanic science, I think is going to be fine. Uh, volcanic science, we just, yeah, we can do. We're just going to need to tap out, tap some resources, try, probably train them over. Uh, we pro I don't think we'll even need foundation on this to do it. We'll just find another big um, mass, get some fusion power going, um, and Bob's your uncle. So Volcanus, not an issue. Gleba is going to be fun. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be fun. It's probably going to be more effort to make the Gleba 5K SPM than all these previous ones combined because of how much thinking has to go into that base. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. And then the tech base, again, we said um, that one's probably going to be the most difficult of the four initial planets because we have to very much plan it out uh, very precisely. What are we going to do? Are we going to have one that does all of the recycling from everywhere? And then are we going to send out all the different components on different trains? Are we going to have one island that makes accumulators for example and then are we going to send the accumulators over to different areas how are we going to deal with the excess consumer products it's it's going to be insane i think that is what we're going to have to do we're going to have to have a number of islands so we probably have like four or five big islands and all they do is recycle and then they just pump out individual goods and they put the individual goods on a train and then we're just going to have, um, we're going to have the most insane train network you have ever seen on Fulgura. We're going to have trains zipping around. We probably have one train type for each type of goods. So we'll have like a concrete train. We'll have a holmium ore train. We'll have a low density structure train. We'll have a concrete train. And these guys will just zip around everywhere. We'll probably, well, we'll probably have like five or six of each type of train. And they'll go to the recycling areas and they'll pick up what they need to. And then they'll go over to um, a bunch of different stations. And we might have some sort of interrupt that says go to this station if it needs more concrete or go to this station if it needs more low density structures. And then we'll have something that says, okay, all those stations are full. 
go to the trash island and then it'll go to the trash island and it'll drop everything off and everything it drops off will be destroyed. So this is gonna be insane. 5K SPM on Fulgora is doable, but it's going to be insane. It's gonna be nuts. Um, yeah. So yeah, Volcanus, easy, Re relatively easy. Gleba and the Tech Planet are going to be fun. It's gonna be so much fun, it's insane. Uh, cry the Cryogenic on the other hand is just gonna be pain. Um, I don't, I'm not even going to commit to doing 5k on this one anymore it, because here's the main thing. We can build a platform as big as we want. We can build massive platforms using this sort of stuff. We could build a huge platform. We can set up all the structures we want. We can get all the power we want. Power is not going to be an issue. The problem is going to be the resources. I don't know how many of these are going to, I'm assuming there's an infinite amount, but then we have to go here. We have to collect them all. It's probably going to be doable, but it's probably going to be painful finding all these resources, hooking them all up. <sighs> it's just, yeah. And then, of course, we got the Shattered Planet, which I have not built a single bit of Shattered Planet science. I think I'd like to, though. I think maybe after I get purple science and I get mining productivity going full speed... I might head out to the Shattered Planet because it would be very good to get a few levels on this. To get a few levels of research productivity in the bag. Because um, this will just impact everything. This will just make everything go so much faster. And once we get a few levels of this, suddenly processing unit, level 20, maybe in, maybe in possible. This one, level 20, level 15, maybe possible. Um, yeah. We, we get this up to level 10 and then of course it, its own bonus stacks with itself so maybe we get it up to level 20 maybe we start going insane maybe we get mining productivity up to like level 500 and it's just easy who knows this is we i feel like as soon as we get to some of this science out and we really start pushing the productivity uh the amount of research we get done is going to start exploding like you would not believe it's gonna start exploding like you would not believe. So that's probably like after we get purple science at 5K, I think that'll be the next step. We won't bother going out to Volcanus straight away and getting that base set up. We'll get like a, a steady 120 SPM of the, the fancy science, Promethium science pack, which is gonna be fun in itself because, well, it needs one quantum processor for 10 science packs. So that means we need six quantum processors per second. Um, actually less, because we can um, prod module that up the wazoo. So we probably need about four per second. And if we have a look, how much are we producing at the moment? Not a lot. These guys can do half. Okay, so with all this, you can do half. So we'll need 10, 12 of these machines and enough resources to sort of send them in. Which is again, why I've got these fusion items, ships. Because once we've built all the fusion buildings, we can keep all of these ships going. Um, this one will no longer need to send over the tungsten plate, but we can still keep sending over the tungsten carbide. This one will still need the carbon fiber. This one will still need the superconductor, but just less of it. And we keep those ships going, and they will supply everything that's needed to make the quantum processor for the next science. So right now they're fusion power ships. Later on they will become science ships, which is why I made them all individual ships. It's like future planning. Another quick update video that went for over an hour because I just cannot stop talking. But you, I mean, you just, you got to be used to it by now. Oh, getting close to rocket part productivity nine. Um, where's our Aquilo science ship? Waiting for 2k more. It's actually slow. Yeah, okay. You know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go back over there. I'm going to fix up. I got to go. F I, I just got to do it. I got to go and fix up that bloody lithium brine. But I am going to do it off camera. I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix up that lithium brine. 
and then we can start setting up the power plant properly and yeah next episode we'll either be showing off my massive fusion power plant on now Vs, or doing purple science or a bit of both um we'll see how we go but anyway we're going to end the video now thank you very much for watching i'll catch you guys later